Hello, my name is Greg Miller. I'm currently chair of the Joint Committee for Traceability in Laboratory Medicine, and I'm a professor of pathology at Virginia Commonwealth University in the United States. In the next few minutes, I'd like to explain to you what is laboratory medicine. Consider the situation when a patient visits a physician because they're not feeling well. The physician will begin to wonder what's causing the patient's illness. It could be an infection, diabetes, cancer, heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, or another type of problem. The physician will examine the patient and take a history to understand signs and symptoms that are causing the patient's illness. In most cases, the physician will order laboratory tests or imaging to follow up and determine what might be causing the patient's illness. This diagram shows what we call the brain-to-brain -brain loop in laboratory medicine. The physician interacts with the patient to formulate a hypothesis about the disease. The physician orders laboratory tests. Specimens are collected from the patient, transported to the laboratory, Measurements are made and laboratory results are reported back to the physician along with interpretive information about those laboratory results. The physician uses the laboratory information along with other information about the patient to formulate a hypothesis and an action plan to treat the disease. Metrology enters the laboratory medicine picture because of the many types of different measurements that we make on biomolecules. I'd like to walk through a few of the major branches of laboratory medicine. One area is called hematology. Hematology examines blood to determine how many cells are present, what type of cells they are, what size the cells are, and whether any are abnormal. Chemistry, or biochemistry, examines specific biomolecules to determine the concentration that is present. The illustration shows you uh, little white dots on the left indicating normal blood glucose circulating in the blood. Patients who have elevated blood glucose, illustrated by the larger number of white dots on the right, have a disease called diabetes. Many other types of biomarkers are measured uh, quantitatively in chemistry laboratories to help make diagnoses or monitor treatment of diseases. Toxicology is related to chemistry because concentrations of drugs are measured to determine if the amount of drug is consistent with the appropriate therapeutic window and not too much drug is present that could cause unwanted side effects. Another branch of toxicology examines to determine if a toxin is present that could be responsible for a patient's illness. Microbiology is a branch of laboratory medicine that examines microorganisms consistent with infectious diseases. In this case, the laboratory is interested to know what is the organism, how many are there, and what drug is capable of killing that organism and can be used to treat the patient. Molecular diagnostics or genetics is that branch of laboratory medicine that examines the nucleic acid material from patient cells to determine if mutations are present that could be responsible for a disease or put the patient at risk of a disease. Molecular testing is also used to identify microorganisms based on the genetic sequence of their nucleic acid material. Surgical pathology, or cytology, is a branch of laboratory medicine that examines tissues and performs a microscopic examination of the cellular structure of those tissues, generally to determine if cancer is present, and if cancer is present, what type of cancer. Uh, for example, a patient might have an elevated prostate-specific antigen measured in the chemistry laboratory, 
followed up by a biopsy of the prostate gland to determine if any cancerous cells are present. So when the physician receives the laboratory information, they're able to inform the patient, in this particular example, you have diabetes because your blood glucose is elevated. And many other um, laboratory tests would inform the physician what type of disease the patient might have. So metrology enables results to be equivalent among all clinical laboratories. It's very important that results be equivalent so that physicians can base their diagnostic decisions on standardized guidelines for interpreting laboratory results and treating diseases. Thank you very much for your attention.